What's up, y'all? It's Jeff Lexi Jr. here with Ball Sports. And with the NBA draft up approaching, I'm here to talk about the Lakers and the Minnesota Timberwolves having the top two picks and the top two prospects that everybody says pretty much can't miss. And that's Jaleel Okafor out of Duke and freshman Carl Anthony Towns out of Kentucky. Now, a lot of experts have been slating Carl Towns at that number one spot over, I mean, for a while now, simply because they think he has the most potential. But let's not let's not go so far to just automatically assume Carl Towns is going to go number one. First, there's been sources have cited that in, there's been interest in the Timberwolves camp saying that they would prefer Okafor over Towns with that number one spot. But not only that, let's review why this shouldn't be such a lock for Towns to be number one. Yes, Towns, is, they're both the same height. Yes, Towns is more athletic. And yes, Towns, which we found is a major factor in these playoffs you've been watching, that free throw percentage, his free throw percentage is like 30%, 30 points higher than Jill Okafor. He's around 81, Okafor's around 51. But let's let's remember that for an entire year, Jaleel Okafor dominated college basketball for the entire year. Now, now we can say Carl Towns dominated the last month of college basketball, like during Kentucky's run through the through the NCAA tournament, all the way to their loss in the Final Four. Yes, as a collective team, they dominated and they won 38 games in a row before finally losing to Wisconsin. But I wouldn't go as far as to say Carl Towns dominated the entire year. Yes, we saw him grow from just a young freshman that was really a hardcore defensive presence to showing more of his offensive side of the game. And that's what got his stock to skyrocket from being that, you know, top 10 pick to the number one overall pick. But we can't knock what Jaleel Okafor did. I mean, Okafor dominated averaging about 18 points, about nine rebounds the entire year for Duke and for most three-fourths of the entire season, people slated him at number one. Now, that late surge by Carl Towns, because he showed his offensive prowess and people saw the potential that he could have on the offensive side of the ball, we already know, he. of course, he's a better defender. He's more athletic. We already knew that. But because of that last month, we saw how he, he started to show his offensive game. Now, in some of those games, I don't know how great the competition was. Now, Notre Dame gave them a fight, but the defenders that were guarding him, yes, Zach August is good, but what can he really do? The, and double teams really didn't happen for Carl Towns. Yes, he showed us the over-the-hook shot, and he showed us some finesse down on the low block, but Jaleel Okafor is light years ahead of Carl Towns on offense, I think. I mean, I think he's clearly light years ahead of Carl Towns. In the NBA, yes, he's not a shot-blocking center. He's not going to be a shot-blocking, uh, rim-protecting center like Carl Towns will most likely be. But it's more of team defense in the NBA. And with his size, he's 6'11", 270 pounds already with good feet. We see he has good feet. The free throw shooting, he shot only 51%, but he has excellent touch. I think that's the big difference between some of the really bad free throw shooters in the NBA like Dwight Howard and DeAndre Jordan. Yes, they have good form, but they don't have good touch around the rim like Jaleel Okafor does. Okafor has really good touch around the rim, and I think that'll be able to help improve his free throw shooting. Now, if I'm the Timberwolves, I'm not saying that I'm going to draft Carl. After saying all that, I'm not saying that I'm going to draft Okafor first, but I'm saying this debate should be a little tighter than what it is. I am I would definitely give it great consideration, and I might even draft Okafor first over Towns because I think instantly he's a guy that can come in and score 18 to 20 points as a rookie. I think he is that good offensively. He could come in, average 9 or 10 boards, uh, seventeen to 20, between 17 and 20 points as a rookie. Carl Towns, I think, has more of a learning period. He has more of an adjustment period to the NBA. I think it's going to take him a, a little while longer to adjust. But, I mean, those are, once again, those are my thoughts. You let me know what you think. Once again, I'm Jeff Lighty Jr. Continue to like and subscribe to my videos. Thanks for watching. Peace.